Do you remember the flip-flop circuit with two push buttons from the previous video? Today, we will upgrade it to a more convenient version. It only needs one push button, but can still change state. Sounds interesting, right? Let's get started. This is the schematic of the flip-flop circuit with two push buttons. If you have not watched it yet, please go back and see that video before continuing. The basic principle we rely on is the change of voltage polarity when the flip-flop circuit operates. Specifically, let us try to measure the voltage between the two collector pins of the two transistors. The result shows that the voltage is about 2.4 volts, and it will reverse every time we press the button. This characteristic will help us implement the circuit using only one push button. The first step, we connect an additional resistor network, as in the schematic. This network consists of four resistors connected in series, two resistors of 220 kilo ohms at both ends, and two resistors of one mega ohm in the middle. When checking the voltage at the midpoint, we see a value of about 0.95 volts. This voltage will be used to trigger the state change. To make it more stable, we connect two capacitors in parallel with the two 1 mega ohm resistors. In this way, the resistor network not only divides the voltage but also charges the capacitors. Next, we add two diodes and one push button. This is the complete schematic. When the power is turned on, the left LED light is on. At this time, both capacitors are charged with a voltage of about 0.95 volts. We can consider each capacitor as a separate power source. When the button is pressed, the positive terminal of the capacitor is connected to ground. Therefore, the negative terminal of the capacitor will have a voltage of minus 0.95 volts. At this moment, the current that originally went into the base of transistor Q1 will instead go through the diode and to the negative terminal of the capacitor. As a result, transistor Q1 no longer has base current, so it turns off. Now consider diode D4. When the button is pressed, the negative terminal of capacitor C2 is connected to ground, making the other terminal of the capacitor have a voltage of plus 0.95 volts. This does not create current through diode D4, so transistor Q2 still receives base current through resistor R2 and is turned on. At that time, the right LED light is on. Similarly, if we press the button again, the process is reversed and the LEDs change state alternately. Now, let us solder the actual circuit together and see the result. So, we have improved the flip-flop circuit from two push buttons to a version that only needs one push button. The principle relies on the resistor capacitor network to create pulses and the diode to direct the current, helping the circuit change state alternately with each press. This one-button flip-flop circuit can be applied in electronic switches, power buttons of devices, or simple control systems. I hope that through this video you have clearly understood the principle and can build the circuit yourself. If you find the video useful, do not forget to press like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel so I have more motivation to make new videos.